Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today we're doing another app review. And today we're looking at Speechify, which is a text to speech app. So what possible use could this have? If you're too busy to read something, you can take a photo of it, it'll convert it to text, and then it will read it to you. So in that case, it's very handy. Also too, if you're dyslexic, you want to increase your reading speed, if you're not very good, or other reasons as well like words that you can't pronounce. The aim of the app is to be very helpful, but how good and how well does it work? So let's explore that with this, which is gonna be a bit of a demonstration and review of the app as it is. So this app is actually in its beta stages. So I've got pre-release access to this app just from a video ad that I watched. And I was able to go on and download and get into the app. So it gives you a three day trial. After that, you'll be paying around $200 a year for the app. So is it worth it? Is it good enough? For students and stuff like that where you're too busy to read sometimes or you've got long, big, wordy documents and stuff that you need to read, maybe you're taking public transport and you just can't have A4 pages around, maybe it is. But anyway, let's jump in and have a look. So for this app, I've got a copy of The Untethered Soul. You can have a look at that. I've got Tweak, another novel. I've got a magazine, just a little cooking one there. And then I've got a, so just a bigger style book on Get Real, Unleashing Authenticity. Just to trial out to see in live how it goes doing it, doing what it's meant to. So when you open the app, it goes through and gets you to do all that stuff. But here we are on the home sort of page. Now, these are articles here down the bottom that I've already tried the app out on with varying degrees of success. So you can tell on this one here. One of your heart in your heart just cuts cuts you off from your best to low against to lock you inside. You inside, the only team thing you really in love. Welcome to Speechify. Does reading feel teeth? What the hell just happened there? So you can see there's a few little teething problems with the app. But you can see there that that one didn't quite convert. But if we go I, to Cliff's story. I am dyslexic. Reading a sentence takes me the same amount of energy and brain power as most people take when solving a four digit long division math equation in their head. I was diagnosed in third grade. It was the best day of my, my life. Before that, I would pretend to read in elementary school. I'd sit with a book open in front of me and pass my finger out of the words of the people, my parents, teachers. Hi, my name is Gwen. Best friends siblings would think I was dumb or lazy. Reading circles were terrifying. One by one kids would read, and it would get closer to me. My hands would start to sweat, so I'm to just write. And right before it was my turn, <coughs> I'd go hide in the bathroom. So you can see a little bit about how this app works. And you've got all different types of voices, and languages, as well as accents as well as being able to choose the speed. Now, it does go crazy fast. Here in Gwyneth Paltrow at... I don't see where any use that would be to anybody at all, ever. Once you give the app permission to be able to take photos, you get your little photo thing. So let's just open to a random page. Hopefully we've got enough light. And you get this little blue square thing that goes all over the friggin' shop. And there. And we tap done. We let it load up a little bit. Maybe, shit, I don't know. Is it gonna do stuff? There we go. Now we take it down from 3.7. And wonder your untapped potentials. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us most. Ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant? Actually, who? Who are you not to be? You are a child of God. You're playing small, doesn't serve the And you can see there that that one actually works pretty well. I was reading along there, so that one worked quite well. Now let's try it out on a magazine. 
that just has a few recipes and has different colors on the page as well. So this one will be interesting as to how it translates out. And pictures as well. So done. And wait for that one to load. Night dinners, creamy coconut dolls, sticky pork mince, bows way, and he stopped for prep five minutes, cook kale, mince, serve four cost per serve, eight out nineteen Swedish meatballs with broccolini anyway, way, call hour prep five minutes, cook fifteen minutes, serve the prep one, oh mince, cook twenty minutes, serve four cost per serve, dollar eight dot eight. Five stick cost per serve, four dollars and fifty eight cents, mining cord two by twenty seven, whole cans, coconut milk, one percent cups, dried red lentils. Rip. And with that one, we can see that that wasn't a raging success. So, given to the way that this one is set out in its columns, rather than just normal novel type things. I thought that that would present a bit of a challenge for the app, and it did. But you've got a lot of, even just, terrible spelling errors and stuff like that as well in there. But anyway, moving on. Next, we'll go to Tweak. Get it all in there. Go to the other page. Seems to be... Okay. It was bouncing around there, so I don't know whether that actually means that it will get that, or what it will do. But, okay. I don't know where it got symbolic. Oh. Oh. It got my bookmark. And whatever adults, and it was very exciting. Though I missed out on Justin Osnader with my dad when I was around nine. It's a movie 139 in a theater on an IRA who falls in love with a transsexual. That one about a man and who can his wrap around and any drinking and getting high. Thought Lickle was one of the. Where the hell did it get in that? So you can see that one too. If it doesn't get the little overlay over the thing, it freaks out. So we'll try that one again. Because that is pretty easy to read. I believe, anyway. Ah, the 139 was a page number. So it's already saying that you have to be very clear in what you're taking the photo of and what actually gets caught in the frame. Because otherwise it freaks the hell out. I wrote my dad when I was around nine. It's a movie 139 and in the IRA who falls in love with a transsexual. I went out everywhere to parties and concerts and whatever in the theater about a man in his wraparound with my dad, everyone drinking and getting high. I felt like I was one of the though I missed out on just to know into this thing with adults and it was very exciting that a lot of kids get. And playing it all, and it was confusing for me to see my dad dating Denver. I remember waking up one morning and running to him in my dad's room like I always did. Familiar smell of him I climbed under the sheets with GHDP. Sass. It's mostly just errors. Things like when it's... Yep. So yeah, that one didn't quite work as well. Now I think the lighting in here is quite adequate, so I don't know why it's not getting it. The untethered soul. So give it another go with this one. Which I don't think is a hard book to read. It's very clear print. I'm not shaking or moving the camera that much, as you can see. And we'll see what happens with this one now. Tethered soul hunt deep within. Oh, I pee with this book haunt you have with run your light. Where each one the vines passes. And sometimes you will notice that it feels hot inside his map. In fact, as you relax into the energy or the pain, you may feel tremors learn heat in your heart. I had as the pain being pureed from your hair to enjoy the burning. It's called the fire of yoga. It does not seem enjoyable. And so there we pretty well have it. So as you can see, the app is with its limitations at the moment. So it's still currently developing, but if you're using it for whatever purpose, do you really want to pay $200 for an app that's, you know, half useful sometimes? There was another book, Phosphorescence, where the words are a little bit more spread apart and it got that one perfectly. But most documents are with letters that are, you know, spaced out somewhat like this. So, is that going to be of any use to anyone in the real world at this point in time? I think at the moment, probably not. So, <laughs> I can really only give Speechify at the moment a 4 out of 10. Love the premise. Love the idea. <sighs> the execution though leaves a lot to be desired at this moment. In a little bit of time, maybe it will be better. As I go through, as it gets more 
database in there to be able to get those words, get everything sorted, whatever the case may be in the development side of it. I don't know, but at the moment, if I'm in a rush, I want to be able to understand it. And is it any better than just downloading the audiobook for a lot of these things? I get it if you've got textbooks and stuff that aren't on audiobooks. It can be handy in that way, or documents that you've done up and you want to listen to in the car or something as well. But if it's continually making little mistakes as well, like that, how useful is that going to be for you to be able to memorize that and get that in planted? And too, if it's dyslexic, like the app itself seems pretty dyslexic. It confuses a lot of little letters and gets all different little bits and pieces all over the place. And you can see there, it wasn't just a one-off. It was all over through those examples as well. So at the moment, I can't recommend it. But by all means, give it a go. Maybe it works better for you. Maybe you've got better lighting, suitable lighting for it. I don't know. I don't know why it didn't work so well for me, but maybe it's just the app at its current stage. But anyway, guys, enough rambling from me. I'm Rob Murphy, and I'll see you in the next video.